I'm David Sherwood, and I study worms. Their common name is C. elegans. Yeah, which means elegant, and it is an incredibly elegant animal. And it's short for senior abditis because no one wants to say senior abditis elegans. <laughs> It has these beautiful sinusoidal waves as it moves. Um, it looks uh, like an incredibly streamlined animal. Um, and then it's uh, crystal clear, so it's um, translucent and beautiful to watch move. These worms are incredibly small. They're about a millimeter, so most people would have never seen them, and yet they're surrounding us. If we were to go outside right now and dig up soil, and put it on a petri dish, these worms would crawl right out. So one of the remarkable things about these animals compared to the 37 trillion cells we have, they're only a thousand cells and we can track them from the first cell during fertilization all the way to when they form those thousand cells and give each one of those cells a name. And it has all the tissues that we have. So you take the ability that there are very few cells that are cells like ours. We can watch all those cells. And then this darn organism develops from embryo to adult in three days. So it's like the Porsche of animals in terms of its speed. It's absolutely beautiful. And you kind of intuitively get the power of the system and, and how it can help reveal, you know, basic things that cells do. They move they polarize, they grow, they divide. You can watch them. Um, it's pretty intuitive, so most people get it pretty quickly.